Hello everybody, it's my pleasure to be with you in this lecture. Today we are going to talk about the plus transforms to solving initial value problems first order. Let me start with example number one. Apply Laplace transforms to solve the following initial value problem. y dash plus 2y equals 12e to the power 3t and y of 0 equals 3. First of all, we have to apply Laplace transforms for each term. So you can write Laplace y prime or Laplace y dash and sometimes we write y dash of t or y dash as you like. Plus 2 Laplace y equals 12 Laplace of e to the power 3t. As you know that Laplace y prime equals sl y of t minus y of 0. And here we have 2 Laplace y which can be written as 2 Laplace y of t equals 12. And Laplace e to the power 3t you know that from the table of Laplace transforms, Laplace e to the power 3t equals 1 over s minus 3. Here you have y of 0 equals 3. And we can take Laplace y of t as a common factor between the first term and the last term. So we can write Laplace y of t as a common factor we have here, s plus 2. And y of 0 equals 3, so we have to push negative 3 to the right. So we can write 3 plus, here you can write this term as 12 over s minus 3. After that, you can take a common denominator here, so we can write Laplace y of t times s plus 2 equals the common denominator is, is uh, s minus 3 cross multiplication so you have 3s minus 9 plus 12 so we can write this as 3s plus 3 over s minus 3 now divide by s plus 2 so we can write Laplace y of t equals 3s plus 3 over s plus 2 times s minus 3. Now to find y of t, you have to remove the Laplace operator using Laplace inverse. So you can write y of t equals Laplace inverse of 3s plus 3 over s plus 2 times s minus 3. Now you have to use the partial fractions. So you have to pause here and you have to fix this term using partial fractions. 3s plus 3 over s plus 2 times s minus 3. As you know we have here two terms so you can write a over s plus 2 plus b over s minus 3. Now you can write as a common denominator s plus 2 times s minus 3 cross multiplication a times s minus 3 plus b times s plus 2. If you compare between this term, the last one, and the first one, they have the same denominator, so the numerators are equal. So, 3s plus 3 equals 8 times s minus 3 plus b times s plus 2. Use random values for s to find the values of a and b. You can use s equals 3, for example, to delete this term. So, if s equals 3, if you substitute here, s equals 3, so here you have uh, 3 times 3, 9, 9 plus 3, 12, and here uh, 3 plus 2, 5, so b equals 
12 over 5. And if you use s equals negative 2 to delete this term, so if s equals negative 2, therefore a equals, if you use here negative 2, 3 times negative 2, negative 6, negative 6 plus 3, negative 3. And uh, you have here, sorry, negative 3 equals a times negative 5, which means that a equals 3 over 5. Now back to y of t again. Now y of t equals Laplace inverse, you have to use now the new version of this expression, which is a over s plus 3. So y of t equals Laplace inverse of a, but we know that a equals 3 over 5, so you can push it out here. 1 over s plus 2. And plus Laplace inverse of b, which is 12 over 5, that can be written outside, 12 over 5, 1 over s minus 3. Now we use Laplace inverse, so y of t equals 3 over 5. Laplace inverse of 1 over s plus 2 equals e to the power negative 2t plus 12 over 5. 1 over s minus 3, which is e to the power 3t. So this is the final answer of this differential equation. And you can check that your answer is right. If you substitute t equals 0, so the final answer of y of 0 will be 3. And this is your final answer. Now we have another example. We have to solve this initial value problem. Now, apply Laplace transforms. Now, apply Laplace transforms for each term. Laplace y dash or y prime plus Laplace of y equals Laplace t e to the power negative t. Laplace y dash, as usual, you know that sl y of t minus y of 0 plus here Laplace y or you can write Laplace y of t equals Laplace t e to the power negative t from the table of Laplace transforms. Uh, you can find that uh, this Laplace transforms is uh, 1 over s plus 1 squared. Now we use the initial condition y of 0 which is 2 and take Laplace y of t as a common factor. So, the plus y of t, as a common factor, you have s plus 1, and y of 0 equals 2, push it to the right. So, we have 2 plus 1 over s plus 1 squared. Now, divide by s plus 1, so the plus y of t, and uh, by the way, sometimes we uh, rename this term as uh, y Laplace y of t as capital Y of s if you want and if you want to leave it as Laplace y of t it's okay so you can write it as 2 over s plus 1 plus 1 over s plus 1 to the power 3 now y of t apply Laplace inverse to the right hand side 2 over s plus 1 <coughs> sorry plus a plus inverse of 1 over s plus 1 cubed use Laplace transforms and Laplace inverse table so y of t equals this guy is 2 e to the power negative t from the table of Laplace transforms and Laplace inverse and here you have uh, uh, you can use the rule of the tables so this one will be half e to the power negative t, t power 2. This is your final answer, and you can check your answer if you substitute here t equals 0. You find that y of 0 equals 
too. Thank you.